Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 17, verses 10 through 13. The context is just following the Mount of Transfiguration. And the disciples asked this question. This, it says, the disciples asked him, why do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? Jesus replied, to be sure, Elijah comes and will restore all things, but I tell you, Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him, but have done to him everything they wished. In the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. When the disciples understood that he was talking to them, or then the disciples understood that he was talking to them about John the Baptist. Now, this is the last verses in Malachi uh, tell us that Elijah is going to come at the end. And of course, folks are waiting for Elijah right before the second coming. But here, Jesus interprets that prophecy as referring to John the Baptist. So he says, this is the fulfillment of that. Now, if you were the Israelites, when you heard the original prophecy in Malachi, would you be expecting John the Baptist to fulfill this? The answer is no. It's only when we get the rest of the story that we see that, ah, John the Baptist came in the spirit and power of Elijah, but he wasn't literal Elijah. So this is, this is an important section because it helps us understand that we interpret the old through the lens of the new. Here, the, here our Lord, who obviously is interpreting Scripture accurately, is interpreting the prophecy in Malachi of Elijah to come as referring to John the Baptist who comes in the spirit and power of Elijah. That is its fulfillment. So if this has been helpful, you might want to check out more of Jeff's thoughts on youtube.com, and you can subscribe to them there. You take care. Bye-bye.